One sec. Okay, we're good. Okay. I rushed the everlasting coupons out of this game. Dies. Okay, we're fine. And whatever is going on. Hoshifont, how little you know! <laughs> We all went to the turning mist and had a good time. Yes, let's discuss the meaning of life together. Okay. that it will not be level capped. And by doing necessary leveling. Go. Ah, uh, my boy. Praise Halone, you are safe. I'm not safe. Lies. We're all gonna die. My safety was never in doubt, father. For I had the Azure Dragoon and the Warrior of Light by my side. You said that too soon, my friend. Oh. We bring the most wonderful tidings. Yes. Everything you know about Ishgard is a lie. Great tidings. The infamous Lady Iceheart, here in Ishgard? This is most unexpected. Unexpected plot twist. She has done much to quell the violence. The Inquisition may not approve, but we are glad of her presence. And with the Great Worm's demise, even our nation's more reactionary elements will have scant grounds to press for her immediate impeachment. Whack. My thoughts exactly. What of the truth revealed to us by Schreisvelger? That the origins of the Dragon Song War, yeah, the boy, what about of this it? Guardian faith are quite you mean the fact that the everything Ishgard taught is a lie? What? Whatever will we do, boy? That men and dragons once lived together in harmony, and that it was man's treachery which shattered the peace and plunged our peoples into war. Yes, I mark that that one. The same scripture also describes the origins of the High Houses. Were it exposed as false, the legitimacy of our rule would be called into question. Yay! If both Highborn and Lowborn can trace their ancestry to Thorden and his Knights Twelve. Exactly, that's what happened. But a single sip of Dragon's Blood is required to confirm their lineage. Good times. If the Holy See knew of this and chose to remain silent, their crimes are grievous indeed. Regardless, this state of affairs cannot be allowed to continue. And whatever do you mean to do, Imeric?
Sir Emmerich, you cannot mean to raise this matter with the Archbishop. He sure can. Pray consider what you are proposing. If the Holy See chose to conceal the truth for centuries, what reason would they have to reveal it now? Who knows? At best, you will be branded a heretic and clapped in irons. Yay, being arrested. Then at least the Archbishop will have shown his true colors. My friends, this war will never truly be at an end until the truth is made known. Okay, true point though. Like, if he's placed under arrest, that's kind of suspicious. You must see what lies on the horizon if it is not. When ruled by fear of a common enemy, we were united. Touche. But now we have none. During the war, the highborn needed men to lead and the lowborn men to follow. Not anymore. Tis but a matter of time before the old order is called into question. Touche. Lady Iceheart will share the truth with her followers, and the Holy See will be powerless to stop its spread. The disenfranchised will rise up united, and blood will flow in the streets once more. Yay, dying. Go get him. A divided Ishgard will not survive. Tread carefully, Lord Commander. Nah, he's just gonna run in there, it's fine. Oh my goodness, the boy is my so lady, small. Is it wise to let him go? No, it's not, boy, but it's fine. I sympathize with the Lord Commander's desire for reform, but to approach the Archbishop in this manner bespeaks an idealism to which I did not think Sir Emmerich prone. Though he comports himself as a realist, he has long dreamt of reform. It was that idealism which first drew me to him. That which made me swear an oath to serve. Let's go stop Emmerich from being dumb. We must not think of ways to hinder his cause, but rather ways to aid it. Even should the Holy See cry heresy. Heresy! You cannot mean. Yes, boy. If the Lord Commander does not return from the vault at the appointed hour, I mean to go and fetch him. Have care, my lady. Your words border on treason. Should they reach the wrong ears, you will be declared an enemy of Ishgard. Yay, being enemies of Ishgard. Go that bigger home, dude. I am willing to take. Lest you forget, my lord, I am not born of this land. My loyalty is to the Lord Commander alone. Good but point. I speak only of what may come to pass. If the rumors regarding his heritage are to be believed, we have naught to fear. We should always be afraid. <laughs> lies and slander. I like lies and slander. Forgive me. What rumors are these? Boy, get with the get with the program. That Sir Emmerich is the Archbishop's bastard son. Senior clergy are not permitted to marry and sire children. But even the holiest among us are not immune to temptation. I labor to believe it. Sir Emmerich is truly the Archbishop's son. I mean, I can see it. Wait, no, I can't. I don't know. He has never been publicly acknowledged as such. But the rumors have plagued him since childhood. That he rose to his current position, despite being despised as a bastard and accused of profiting from his father's influence, bespeaks the quality of his character. It is my hope that on this occasion, the burden of his birth will work in his favor. Should our worst fears be realized, the Archbishop will not yeah, be but so this quick is to execute his own flesh and blood. Thornton don't time care. To mount a rescue. Bastard or trueborn, he is our nation's best hope. If the Holy See dares to threaten him, I shall lead the charge against the vault myself. No, that's my job. Hear, hear. The future of Ishgard rests on Sir Emmerich's shoulders. I too will do mine utmost to aid his cause. <laughs> Orshafon, be reasonable. No. A knight lives to serve, Father. To aid those in need. The people need Sir Emmerich more than ever. And we may be his only hope. Bear 
is no greater calling for a knight than to save the life of his fellow man. I swear to you, on the sigil of our house, that I shall do this and make you proud. Yeah. Um. Um, Hashifat. I don't know about that. Even you? <laughs> Romantic, reckless fools, the lot of you. So be it. Make your preparations. I thank you all for your support. Gotta go rescue Imerig. Right boy? Oh, that's Estonian. Right boy? We don't need other people. Come, my boy, what are we doing? Precisely the opposite, yeah. We don't need a high have a spoy. Absolutely, buddy. I got this. I love being an outsider. They will gladly watch and wait while the highborn fight amongst themselves. How very wise. Okay, boy, let's go. What's this? I have no idea what that one is, but okay. Gotta go see Tataru. That grunt. Yeah, boy, it was. It's a bar. Why would anyone fight here? Well, uh, we went on a magical journey. Okay, boy, lead, lead on. Oh, Hilda, where are you at? I just released this NPC those the NPCs those snowballs at you. Nice. Oh, he was down.
Well, boy, I got nothing on my end. Yeah, boy, we can hope, can't we? Help me out here, man. I have to go be delivery boy? I mean, okay. Why, thank you, sir. I am Delivery Pengu. I really am delivery boy, okay. Whoop, I missed. Wine. Right, he's making me learn about people.
good times. Nobleman, but this is made something then cast her aside. I have a gift. It's called wine. It's good. Mishgard has many problems. It's just facts. Jack. What's up, puppy? Oh, hi. Hey, Jake. Don't, don't take his people. Give him back his toy. Give him back his toy. Give it back to him. He's just a woofer. I asked nicely, please, no. I'm looking for Hilda. Just give tell me where Hilda is. <laughs> oh, I don't need that on my top bar anymore. Well, I will safely avoid a level cap. Boy, I really tried, buddy. I tried. Rejected at every corner. How did you know? Boy, did you find her? I 
I mean, there she is. Ooh, uh, I'm sorry, I forget I said anything. Should we go rescue her boy? Gasp. <laughs> Lead the way, boy. Run, you tiny lala, run. You gotten yourself trapped. What do you need? Where do you think you're going, Missy? Leave my Lalafo friends I, alone. I, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to offend. Well, you clearly did. What's going on here? Well, boy, clearly they've trapped our friend. What's it to you, boy? Piss off. Never. Hold on. I've seen them around. They're in and out of House Four Tom's Manor all the time. Yes, because that's happened. That happened to be where we went. Oh, I see. Skulking about at your highborn master's bidding, eh? Blood I wish, out, but I'm actually um, heresy, exposing it? the truth, good sir. You are quite mistaken, I assure you. We came here to help. And if you know what's Absolutely, good for you, you boy, we pass. came here to help because they're gonna believe that, buddy. Ha <laughs> ha! Listen to the pups yapping. Come here, boy. I'll give you cause to yelp. Leave my friends. Oh, you did not just threaten my boy. Enough! Leave threatening women and children to our betters. We don't have them now. Hi, Hilda. How you doing, friend? Hilda! Lay a so finger on the blue blood's pups, and you're like to lose the hand. In often I get called on by glorious heroes like yourself. So tell you, me, um, what have I done to deserve you? You've done nothing. It's more like we needed you. Didn't we, boy? For once it would seem the fates are smiling upon us. Boy, they never are. Tataru, stop being stupid. Nothing says private like a bar. Okay, boy, well, let's go. That's right, it's a duty, boy. I hope you're ready. You bet. Do you think it's supposed to be? I take the lead this time? Okay, dude. You don't want to be leader anymore? I can handle it. You could give that guilt to me, I could use it right now. Oh, paid to leave? Get out of here, scram. I don't know what's going on. Oh yes, paid to leave. We need a private room. Good times. Hilda, please help. So, while you're on your way to kill Nidhogg, 
you stumbled on some dirty secrets that the Holy See has been hiding for centuries. Yes. Right on. Hey, what are they on about? The high houses. And what makes a nobleman so bleeding noble? They trace their blood back to King Thorden and his Knights Twelve, the founders of Ishgard. But everyone is but a noble. But our friends here reckon we're all descended from the heroes of Eld. Highborn and lowborn alike. It's true. And so Sir Emmerich, Lord Commander of the Temple Knights, has gone to ask the Archbishop if he wouldn't mind letting everyone know. P simply put, yeah. Is he simple? The old bastard will have him executed for heresy. Indeed. Well, seems to me that's what the good sir wants. Seems he thinks a noble sacrifice will serve to prove his claims. Please help us go get him. We cannot stand idly by and allow Sir Emmerich to do this. Ishgard Why has can't need we? of him. Boy, he chose his path. <laughs> Look, you've a good heart, I can see that. Willing to risk your neck for someone else even when his troubles ain't yours. But what's this got to do with me? Absolutely nothing. Please help us because you're a totally awesome person. If Sir Emmerich is imprisoned in the vault, we will need all the help we can Again, muster to boy, breach what's their defenses and rescue her? him. Okay, you didn't need to break down the door. So extra. You didn't need to do that, sir. Ah, the unmistakable scent of heresy. It smells good, Nani. And what do we have here? The honored guests of House for Tom consorting with the Queen of Rats. No, this is not what it looks like. <laughs> Kidding. Ooh, plotting insurrection, I shouldn't wonder. That won't do. Sickness is wont to fester and spread. It must be burnt Sickness out. Sickness must the be purged. Takes hold. I reckon Sir would be happy to wield the irons himself. Well, so happens. I've got irons of my own. How dare you use protect? <laughs> Such simple creatures, rats. Certain to attack when cornered. Let us step outside, my lady. In here, your toys could hurt someone. Whack. Let's go whack, Mom. Diffy! The. Yes. Logic, heal this first. Well, we're all terrible people, aren't we? Do your thing, boy. Okay, only cheaters summon AoEs. Wait a minute. 
Okay, now that's just cheating, sir. I can't make you move either. Stop stuck, dude. Jack, Jack, stop moving. Stop moving. You trapped yourself, you dumb dog. Go. Go. Good times. I believe we defeated you. There's no denying your gifts. A well deserved reputation, indeed. I look forward to clearing the dungeon. Enough! Never enough. Dude, that jump though. He gone. What a shame. Ugh, lucky bastard. Nay, tis we who are lucky. Had we fought on, twas but a matter of time before our conflict claimed the life of an innocent bystander. I don't know what you're talking about, boy. No one's here. Oh wait. There I are people the here. Ward might come here as well. They came to the Temple Knights headquarters. Naturally. Aye. Sir Grino announced that the Lord Commander had been imprisoned under suspicion of heresy, and that the Heavens Ward had been granted full authority in his stead. Go figure. Then the Heavens Ward now commands the Temple Knights. Go figure. Those still loyal to Sir Emmerich answer to me. Alas, that amounts to but half our number. The other half, who opposed his promotion to Lord Commander, have gathered at the vault as ordered. Bolster in the guard already, eh? If I didn't know any better, I'd say you were expected. We are expected. I take it you're in charge around here? Absolutely, that's Hilda. Hilda, and yes, the young master was just persuading me to join his lost cause. Convincing little beggar, isn't he? Best boy. Convincing. I, your passion moved me. A bit. That, and the fact that we're sick of living off the leavings of our betters. If you've a mind to change things around here, then we've a mind to join you. Charge. Lost cause, boy. <laughs> no, I'm really not. I really didn't want to know, but okay. I didn't really want to know Hilda. Am I prepared to do this next quest? No, is the answer. But YOLO at the same time. 
Boy, I'm gonna need a hug. Who opened the gate? Gasp. Heavensward was not prepared. We're gonna rush the vault. Good plan. Let's go, boy. To the vault. Let's go, boy. Oh, one of us won't be coming back with us. Boy. We can do anything, boy, if you believe. I got this. I can do it, it's fine. Prepare to suffer again? The vault now accessible. Oh, that's right, I was playing PvP, wasn't I? Oh, I One of us won't be coming back. Okay, good. Here we go again.
Here we go. The vault. We just walk in into the front door. Nothing to it. Gonna walk in that front door, huh? Not ready for the scene afterwards. We're gonna lose it again. Flex your power.
I have no idea how to stop that move. I never learned mechanics. Mechanics are for cars. Another two right here. Only two is fine. I lost one of the vault dudes. to the inner sanctum. Oh boy. Which one is it on me? Gotta flex that status.
meet again. Wow, I stood me. I had avoided it too. I moved into Zun. I'm only using a little 56 one. You shall go no further. It's showtime. This fight. Oh boy. Good to see you again, dude.
Sickness must be cursed! how much that does. Must be purged. Been on with you. Sickness must be purged. Too easy, bro. That was nothing. Um, I guess. We're all on the sword, you fools. So I can have my sword. One second. There we go, it went. Good run. Easy run. Speedy run. That was nothing, sir. Oh, power. How can this be? I'm the warrior of light, that's why. Pull back. Um, I'm just gonna let him walk away. It's an airship. I'm here to stop you. I'm here to stop you, sir. Hey, friends. Father, please! Because that always works. We were not too late, my friends. Yeah, um, Hashikon. Oh, boy. I'm not ready. Why must you do this, father? Uh, is this law, man? Mid hook what... is fallen. There is no need for further deception. Now is the time to renounce the lies which led us down this path. To start anew! Get him, Imerick. And tear down the very pillars of our society? Our history? Our values? Your history is a lie! built over a thousand years? <sighs> A fool to the last. For Narnia!
Oh boy, I can't. No, I don't. Whack. Look out! I can't even. I should find a good friend to the last. I'm busy anyway, so. <laughs> Tell Stinky I say hi. Oh, hi, Chiffon. Go. Asisla awaits. The best land, you mean? I can't even brow! <laughs> Lord Orshafon! Look at that, Imerick. He's gone. He's going to die because of your stupid plan. Oh boy, I should have seen this coming. I was not prepared. Ahem. Um, I forgot. This kind of happens right now, doesn't it? I'm just gonna go cry in my corner. It's fine. You... You are unharmed. Forgive I'm me. always not harmed. I Why does everyone gotta take them them hits for me? Uh. Friendship. Oh, dang it. Oh, do not look at me so. A smile better suits a hero. <laughs> a smile better suits a hero. I hate that you can use that line in Shadowbringers. Oh man, I'm not okay anymore. This is just. It's too much. <laughs> what am I doing? Well, at least we won, right? <laughs> at the cost of, you know, all font, but it's fine. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I can't even. I can't even! <laughs> what am I doing? The others are, please come in, Master Key later. <laughs> Hi, friends! Please. I don't even know what to say anymore. I forgot. I didn't forget about Hashifon's death. I just forgot that it happened then. I smile better suits a hero. Lives to serve, to protect, to sacrifice. There is no greater calling. Sir, who are you trying to convince? Me or you? 
Leave me to mourn and give chase. For my son, and for the nation he loved. Go! Boy, I need hugs right now. The sacrifice shall not be forgotten. You can be sure I won't forget. A smile better suits a hero. My boy. My son. I'm gonna go find my corner now. It's right over there. It's my crying corner. A smile better suits a hero. Hey boy. Hey boy, you tried. I tried. We're okay. We're not gonna be okay. It's fine. Ashrafat was bad. He was the best. He saved us. He let us come here and. None of us are a okay. It's fine. None of us are okay, guys. None, none of us are okay. Nobody is okay. Nobody is okay, and it's okay that we're not okay. 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 We're okay. We're fine. <laughs> we're fine. We're fine, boy. We must press on with our mission. That's right, boy. We're fine. We're fine. I'm just gonna lose my mind again, but it's fine. We're fine, buddy. Agreed, boy. Lead the way. Okay, anymore. Lord Commander, I need a hug. I'm Rick. I'm Rick here, man. know what to say, boy. You got no words? Estinian, what about you? He's angry. What else is new? <laughs> Estinian is always angry. My friends, I am in your debt. You are. Uh, every time I save an alliance member or an important person, I'm going to build them. One billion gil, okay? It sounds fair because of the amount of trouble I have to go through. Let's count out how many times have we had to save people so far. <laughs> no, I'm just think kidding. nothing of it. The wounds are healing well, I trust. I will not thinking nothing of it, boy. <laughs> Hush your font. I can pin this on Imerick. Your stupid Some plan got him killed. Do not heal. Gonna kill you. Whack! Attack! It's an echo! Attack! <laughs> the Founding. The scriptures a thousand years of lies, all to deceive the common man. Nay, our own brothers and sisters. For the blood of the Knights Twelve flows within all our veins. You knew this to be true. You knew, and you concealed it. I should be interested to hear how you came by this knowledge. 
But yes, you have the right of it. The architects of Ishgard, King Thorden and his knights twelve, entrapped and butchered the great worm, Ratatoskr, that they might partake of her eyes and thereby transcend their transcend. mortal limits. Upon learning of their treachery, Nidhogg was consumed with a murderous and justified rage. I dare say you know what followed. Indeed, we all do. The great worm slew the king and half of his knights. Aye, but Nidhogg was subdued, and his eyes plucked from their sockets by the knights that remained. Their one mistake was to show mercy, for from his brother Hreisvelga did Nidhogg receive a new eye, thus rejuvenating his form and empowering him to embark upon an eternal quest for vengeance. Where? Whilst Thordan's son Haldreth took one of Nidhogg's eyes and learned to wield its power in defense of his people. Thus was the first Azure Dragoon born, and ever since that time, his honored successors have risen to drive Nidhogg from our lands whenever the worm has returned to plague us. It's all one big setup, okay? I ask you, my son, will you answer for my sins? Will your son and his son answer for me as well? What do you mean? If a man cannot atone for his sins in the course of his all-too-fleeting life, must his progeny then be held to account? Must every subsequent generation be judged as well? Thornton brings up a good point. I mean, should they be blamed for something that was way in the past? I mean, obviously they kind of should, but like, is it? It's their, it's Thornton's fault. Thornton's thug, betrayal anyway. of Ratatoska was an unconscionable, unforgivable Because they sin. kept the lie, but you know, in any other case. Should we then, as his descendants, meekly surrender ourselves to an eternity of punishment? Nay, say I. I would not see our children sacrificed in a vain attempt to appease an implacable foe. Dragons are not like us, my son. To they who live forever, the wrongs of antiquity are as those of yesterday. No reparations shall ever suffice. This fact alone should serve as ample justification for our actions. Yet some refuse to see it as such. For men like you, who yearn to commit themselves to a nobler cause, a more compelling narrative is required. You're in the wrong, Thornton. This I'm gonna is your kill solution. You. This is how you protect our people. You have given us a lost cause, a death sentence, with your compelling narrative. You but doom our countrymen to give their lives for a lie. Absolutely, Eimerick. Good point. And they do so gladly. Highborn and lowborn alike are proud to serve, to fight and die for their country. And what would you say to them? What would you tell the wives who have lost their husbands? The mothers who have lost their sons? That their loved ones died for naught? I... Uh... <laughs> Over the course of a thousand years, countless men have donned these robes, and every one of them came to accept the necessity of this solution. Once, I hoped you might come to accept it as well. Do 
not despair, my son. Soon I shall free us from the sins of antiquity and bring about the change you so fervently desire. Ah, as is law. If he has spoken with others, I would have their names. Escort him to a cell and question him. Thoroughly. <laughs> this is what you get for being the bastard son. Fathers don't care about you. I need a hug. Boy, help me. How we all doing? You saw something, did you not? A vision of the past? You know, boy, it's the echo. It's rather inconvenient, isn't it, dude? So this is the power of the echo. Would that it had shown you a finer moment from my past. Twas an exercise in futility, as you saw. Faced with the firmity of his conviction and his many ready rejoinders, my words deserted me. To be frank, I am embarrassed to recall it. It's okay, Emmerich. It's okay. A friend once impressed upon me the importance of differentiating between words, deeds, and beliefs. Were he here, I suspect he would judge your father's conviction to be no more than rank, self-serving delusion. Absolutely, boy. Even so, I cannot help but wonder what manner of change he intends to bring about. Coughing as is law. I have given some thought to that as well. During the battle within the vault, the Heaven's Ward demonstrated strange and unnatural abilities. Aye, the manner in which Sir Zephyrin struck down Lord Horshafon was unlike anything I've ever seen before. They are the using their magical powers. To mind King Thordon and his Knights Twelve as they are depicted in scripture. Holy powers and all. Mere fabrications. Which Absolutely, boy! Faith, instilled with the belief of countless devoted souls. Seven hells! Yes, boy, seven hells indeed. If Lady Iceheart can use her own body as a vessel for summoning, I Do see the math, no that's only 13 primals. Could not. Are the Heaven's Ward truly so reckless? Yes. Unbelievable. Unbelievable indeed, my boy. But dude, you shouldn't be so surprised. As they fled, my father spoke of Aziz La. We shouldn't be so surprised because it's literally the Knights of the Round. Though I know not what he intends, I fear no good shall come of it. His ambitions are too great, and his minions too powerful. We must find the Heaven's Ward and stop my father before it is too late. We gotta go to Izzy's Law, the best land. Has the coolest field theme, on exception of Shadowbringers. There's some pretty cool lands. Okay, I'm Rick. I'm here to help you. Yes, boy, that's why we're here! <laughs> I forgot this was a choice. Uh, how much do I love Hashirvan? I mean, I love Hashirvan. It's just facts, bro. <laughs> Revenge. 
You know me, I love a good revenge plot. You know I love a good revenge plot. Close doesn't even describe it, bro. Much has changed since our order is founding. Order duty to combat the primal threat has not. If the Archbishop and Heavens were to, are guilty of the crime of summoning, then Pengu and I will stop them. Absolutely, boy. Couldn't have said it better myself. Lucia, come with us. With me, thank I believe we both to discuss. Oh yes, boy. Oh yes, buddy. Boy, we do have much to discuss, don't we? Oh no, I gotta stop myself. So you say you want a revolution. Boy, hug, hugs, please. As this law is a special land, boy. I need to stop myself. But do I? But do I? See what quest are we on? We're on in search of new Pokemon. <laughs> Why do I do this to myself? Why do I do this to myself? Uh, no. We'll be... We'll be back in a bit, guys. Peace out for now. Uh, smile! Better suits a hero!